Hello. 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 Yes, Fong, is my sound okay? Hi, Fong. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, is my sound okay? Yes. Yes. All right. Happy Saturday to you, Fong. Uh huh. Are you happy today? Um, not really. Normal one. Not really. Why? Why is Fong not really happy? <laughs> I have finished a, a lesson before and I have to finish a lesson at uh at half past nine nine and I have this lesson. Oh, oh. What got what lesson phone is that you was it your uh lesson in your school? Mm, my home. Home. Uh what subject? Math. Math. And how long phone? How long uh did you two hours? Two hours. Oh no. I think that was really, really boring phone. <laughs> Do you like math, Fong? No. No. All right. No. Yes. What subject is your favorite one? I think sometimes I like math, English, and literature. 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 All right. I think for Vietnamese students, Fong, a lot of you really like literature. I guess so. A lot of you, because based on my, because based on my um, observation, Fong, um, all of my students really like literature. Um, in Vietnam, when you have your literature class, do you use English subject? What? In Vietnam, Phong, during your literature class, do you have your English context? Do you use English language? Uh, I do. I have. English was math and science that is uh sci as English math and English science. Oh, all right. I get it. Okay. Thank you, Fong, for answering all of my questions. So anyway, let's start our lesson now. I will share with you my screen. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yes. Yes, okay, thank you. Thank you, Fong. So now, last time we had our, okay, last time we had our discussion about this one. Okay, so let's have some questions that we need to answer. Okay, in our questions form, all you need to do is, all right, so all you need to do is I want you to give your own opinion. I want you to freely discuss based on the questions that we have here. Okay, let's start in this part. Okay, that part. So, yes, Fong. What do you think? Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, what do you think? Uh, hold on, I will uh, use 
Okay, I can't use that one well. All right, this one. Okay, so here, number one, what do you think of your mom? Do you think she does what she is expected of her? Or, yes, let's just stick to this question. This part. Okay, this mm. part. Where? Where? Okay, so, yes, this one. This one. I think my mom, my mom is a teacher, so she... My mom is a math teacher. Ah, your mom is a math teacher, okay. So meaning your mom will be the one to study with you during your math uh -huh. lessons? She puts, what, she puts her work in of her hopes to me that I can study but I can send at the first places. Uh, I can speak English good. I can mm -hmm. good at math. Uh, sometimes like she have to have a lot of students to mm -hmm. teach us and uh, she can She is very busy if she has lots of students to teach Fong. She doesn't spend a lot of time to ask oh. me something. Ah, all right. I, I get it. Okay, I understand that. Okay, thank you, Fong, for that. I hold on. All right. So now this time, Fong, let's have, oh, I cannot have, okay, just a moment. Okay. Now this time, uh, let's go back to your mom. Your mom is a teacher in school, in public school in Vietnam. Am I right? Mm, yes. Yes. Okay. So it means that your mom is very busy, right? Yes. She's very busy. Okay. What about what about her time to to you or to your brother or sister? What about that? Do you think your mom still have some time to you and your younger brother or younger sister? Can I say it again? Okay, so do you think that your mom still have enough time for you and for your brother or sister? Uh, I think my brothers, my older brother have a college stats test mm -hmm. because much. He is in the great town. Mm -hmm. uh, he has to study and test, test a lot. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right. So, yes, mm -hmm. your younger brother is also busy. Yes. Okay. So... Fong, do you want to be your mom in the future? Like the the attitude of your mom, the profession of your mom. Do you like that? Do you like how? Okay, one more time. Do you want to be your mom to be like your mom in the future? Especially the work that she has, that she have right now. I think no. Not. Uh, you don't want to be a teacher? <laughs> I think a teacher is very difficult. 
Okay. Why do you want to be a teacher? What? Why you don't want to be a teacher? All right, one more time. Why? Okay, why you don't want to be a teacher? I think be a teacher is very difficult. <laughs> okay, I agree. I have to study. Ah, that's right. So you need to study every day. Yes. Okay, I agree on that. Okay, next one. Let's move on to number two. Okay, we have here number two. Okay, what do you think of your dad? Okay, what about your dad, Fong? What can you say about your father? What? What can you say about your dad? Or what do you think about your dad? Uh, uh, I think my dad is... Strict? Mm, no, no, wait. All right, yeah, it's okay. Take your time for that. I think my dad is more easy going than my mom. Ah. Um, he doesn't put a lot of hope on me. And... Okay, a lot of hopes. <laughs> okay, so who usually does the household chores? What? Who usually does the household chores? Household. Who usually does the household? Housework? Yeah, like that. How's the work? Think, uh, a few times ago, it's my mom, but now in in is in now I think my aunt, my aunt will come here every every afternoon and he. She do some hours housework like cooking or cleaning the house uh for my for my mom and he, she she teaches students I go to school my dad goes to school and my brother doesn't come home come home until the weekend. Ah, your brother will just stay in the city in Vietnam. Uh, she's renting. Ah, uh, sorry, he is renting. I know. Uh, he is staying. He stays in dormitory. Dormitory. Ah. School in dormitory. The, in his school. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. I understand your point now. So a while ago, you mentioned that your aunt will be the one to do the household chores. So you mean your aunt is your um, housemaid? Housemaid? When we say housemaid, Fong... Your mother will give money to your aunt. That's her payment for the things that she did at home. It's Can like salary. I... All right, one more time. Okay, one more time. You mean that your aunt is your housemaid? Housemaid? Yes. Okay, housemaid. 
Fong housemaid is like a person who does the cleaning, laundry, or cooking, and then you will just pay for her. Like salary, you will give money to your aunt. Are no. you doing that? Ah, no. Okay. It's just voluntary. Your aunt volunteered have, to help. He has um, family. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So your aunt helps your family. I got it. Thank you, Fong, for that. Okay, now let's move on to question number three. Okay, we have here question number three. What do you think the main responsibility of a mother is? Okay, Fong, based on your observation to your mom, can you tell me what do you think the main responsibility of a mother is? This is just your personal idea. Uh... <laughs> All right, it's okay. Take your time. Yes, of uh, a mother. Mm -hmm. I think of mother if her child is still small or uh, still is a baby, I think mm -hmm. she will feed, feed, feed her child with milk or food. Uh, yes. Someone like uh is older than she will go to work or sometimes spending times to ask them or or cooking, making, cleaning house, um, or spending time with her family. Yes, all right, exactly, that is correct. So I will have some additional information to you or for you, Fong. Okay, do you know, do you know what is a job for a caregiver? I send you the word, the caregiver. Can you check? Okay, so... Your mother, Fong, she is the caregiver in the family. Okay, so when we say caregiver, she is your, all right, she will be the one to take care of you and the entire family. Mm -hmm. So that is correct. She will be the one to provide food. She will be the one to prepare prepares the food in um on your table okay that is right okay during birthday fong the mother is your overall coordinator okay so during your birthday fong what do you usually do do you have like party in your house Mm, I think only if I spoke. Uh, now I think I really like uh party today because I have many things to um, buy and mm -hmm. they need to have like balloons, uh, balloon stickers. So mm -hmm. I think this small. Like a meal with a birthday cakes, ah. with friends also, and families also cake. Oh yeah, so you will just have that yeah. in within your family, because uh, right because if you will prepare a lot, it really needs a lot of money and preparation as well. Am I right?
a cake. So you will just have like a cake and your visitors are your family members only. And friends. And friends, all right. Wow, that's really incredible, Fong. Do you know that one of the Filipinos' culture is that during birthday celebration, all of your neighbors will go to your house <laughs> and you need to prepare a lot of food because even if they are not invited, they will really go to your house and eat your uh, eat what you prepare there. Yes, that is one of the Filipino culture. But recently, Fong, since the advancement of technology, uh, it, it frequently changed. Uh, let's say we can only celebrate birthday through uh, like greetings on Facebook. And that is okay. That is... Uh, uh, that is enough for us. No need for us to prepare a lot of food. But before, especially those people who live in Mount and Parrot, not in the city, they will really have to prepare one whole pig for whole neighbors. Can you imagine that? All right. Because in our place, Fong, there is no... There is no big restaurants so people can't go there for them to celebrate their birthday they can only have like homemade preparation there is no there is no um uh, what is that there is no mcdonald's all right there's no like that here so that is why uh, we need to make or prepare a lot of foods. All right, now let's move on to number four. What do you think is the chief duty of a feather? It's like similar question to number three, like their main responsibility. Okay, one more time. What do you think is the main responsibility of a father phone? Uh, take your time. I think about me, the tough duty of a father, he is uh, work, uh, work for, he work, he works, uh, to have money to buy something to, and he has to protect uh, his family, his dad, his wife. And sometimes spending time and spending and spending time for this uh, his child or his wife. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, that is correct. So the father is like the 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 let's say the pillars okay pillars in the house do you know the pillars it's like when you build a house it need to be like four four uh four posts for you to have your house stronger okay for you to have a stronger house than others Okay, that is right. So the father will also be the one to earn a lot of money for him to be able to provide 
the needs of the family. Okay? But in the Philippines, Fong, it's not like that. Sometimes, the father will be the one to take care of the children because the wife or the mother will be the one to work. Okay? One of my friend, Fong, um, she has a husband already. All right, she has a husband and one child. Okay, but her husband cannot look for a job, cannot look for a decent job because uh, here, Fong, uh, I think if, sh if he will work, his salary is just wait, I will uh, check. Mm pesos to vietnam i will i will cha change into vietnam dong okay his salary is just 167323 pesos per day this is per day okay and this is really really cheap here okay this money Fong is big in your country or very small? Uh, uh huh. I think army is big. It's big. Okay. It's big. It's it's not really big here. It's just 390 pesos is your salary for one day. If his husband, I mean, if her husband will work. However, Fong, if she will be the one to work, she can earn like 500,000 pesos Vietnam dong per day. So it's really, it has a really big difference. So what happened, Fong, is that my friend's husband will be the one to take care of the children and my friend will be the one to work. My father will be the one to work. So in this situation, don't be confused because that is just like family's management. So if it's okay to both of them, so no problem for that. Maybe in the future, Fong, you notice that some fathers, they will be the one to take care to their children. Don't be confused on that because that is just normal. All right. So Fong, well done for today's lesson. You tend to expand your thoughts. And yes, I'm so sorry, but we don't have enough time. And we will just continue discussing number five until number 10 next meeting. Okay. All right. Oh, your microphone is okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so thank you, Fong, for okay. tonight. I guess you need to take a rest because it's already 10 o'clock. And yes, enjoy your weekend. Good night, Fong. And goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.